Namaste, welcome to the guidance classes telecasted by the TSET for the preparation of uh, group 1 services. We are discussing about uh, the history, Indian history and uh, Telangana history has its own significance. In Telangana history, the very important area is the Telangana movement. So, in the Telangana movement as you know it when the Andhra Pradesh is formed based on uh, the language, then there is a implementation of different uh, uh, rules. There is a uh, what you call unrest formed in the Telangana region people. In 1969 as you know that uh, Telangana uh, Praja Samiti uh, the new political party was established by the some of the congress leaders and 1971 in elections when Telangana Praja Samiti uh, won 10 MP seats out of 14 from the Telangana region uh, then they divided into two groups that one. Uh, later uh, when uh, P. V. Narasimha Rao was appointed as the chief minister for uh, Andhra Pradesh state then this Telangana Praja Samiti was dissolved and it merged into a congress party. After that uh, the uh, prime minister of India started 8 point plan, later Mulki rules and 6 point formula all these things are happens. So, when uh, uh, the KCR started a Telangana Rashtra Samiti party uh, with a single agenda to get uh, to create or uh, to form a separate Telangana state. And so, he, he, uh, he make an alliance with the Congress party in 2004 assembly elections and uh, uh, 2009 elections also with the common agenda to form a separate Telangana, but uh, it is not materialized. So, finally, uh, so he announced a hunger strike until death. So, what consequences happens? We are going to discuss whether it accelerate the formation of uh, uh, Telangana and Telangana movement we will see in this episode. All major opposition parties extended their support for a separate state for Telangana. The state congress and its allies MIM have left it to the congress high command to take final decision. The minutes of the meeting were faxed to the congress high command. So, each and every one of course, all the parties political parties in Telangana uh, region and at the same time in Andhra Pradesh. The, uh, they extended their support for the separate formation of Telangana. At the time the state congress and its allies that is MIM, so they have a, a meeting and that meeting uh, they decided. So, they are going to submit the minutes of this meeting to the uh, congress uh, party high command. So, the facts are the same minutes of the meeting to the congress high command. Now, the announcement of the bifurcation and su subsequent rollback we are going to observe. So, after how the bifurcation announcement happens, what are the subsequent rollbacks we are going to see it. Okay. On 9th December 2009, this is a very very important date. On 9th December 2009, the union minister at the time, union minister of home affairs. P. Chidambaram announced that the central government would start the process of forming a separate Telangana state. A first time on 9th December 2009, an official announcement was given by the Union Minister of Home Affairs. P. Chidambaram announced that that road map is going to be started for the formation of separate Telangana state. The process of forming of a separate Telangana state, this statement the road map was going to be announced by the home, your home affairs minister P. Chidambaram on 9th December 2009. This date is very, very important. Maybe this is the first step for the formation of separate Telangana. So, uh, pending the introduction and message of separation resolution in Andhra Pradesh assembly. 
So, here this uh, re resulted in protest when the Chidambaram was announced that there is a road map for the uh, formation of separate Telangana state. Immediately, it, it causes the protests across the both Andhra and Rayalaseema. The students, workers, lawyers and various organizations in the regions launched the Samaikandra movement. So, so against to this uh, separate Telangana, they started Samaikandra movement demanding that the state going to be kept and united only. So, these uh, uh, coastal Andhra and uh, Rail Sima people, they started Samaikandra movement. The MLAs from these regions also submitted their resignations in protest seeking a reversal of the home minister's statement. So, they demand that. So, the home minister has to rip back the statement which is given by road map for the formation of Telangana. These all the MLAs concerned to the regions of uh, coastal Andhra and Rail Sema, they resigned for their post. They submitted their resignation. On 23rd December, keeping the in view the reactions of the people of other regions of the Andhra Pradesh state, the government of India announced that no action on Telangana will be taken until a consensus is reached by all parties and groups in the state. So, actually when they announced on 9th December, a road map is going to be uh, uh, taken for the formation of Telangana state. So, when the Samaika Andhra movement was started, all the people of course, all the MLAs of that particular region are resigned for their post. So, then immediately on 20th, the 23rd December, the central government of India announced that simply. So, no action on Telangana will be taken until a consensus will be taken from the all parties and groups in the state, then only the further steps is going to be taken. That announcement was given by the government of India on 23rd December. This date also very important. Okay. The coastal Andhra and Rail Sima region MLS started withdrawing their resignations while MLS and ministers from the Telangana started submitting their resignations. See uh, the thing what the things happened here. When on 9th December, when the Chidambaram announced that Home Affairs Minister announced that the roadmap is going to be taken for the formation of the Telangana state, then uh, Samakandra movement started all the MLS concerned to the regions means coastal Andhra and Rail Sima region, they resigned their post. On December 23rd, again uh, the central government announced that no action will be taken in favor of uh, Telangana until we are taking the consensus of all the groups and parties. Then immediately these course MLAs and groups the, from coastal Andhra and Rail Sima region they withdraw their resignations. At the same time, the MLAs and ministers from the Telangana state started their resignations and demand that the center take immediate steps to initiate the process of bifurcating Andhra Pradesh. This action happens after announcement of uh, announcement on 23rd December. Okay. Then all these sequences uh, are going to be consequences are, uh, are they inculcate and uh, forms a new thing that is a joint action committee, JAC also known as JAC or simply we call it as TJAC, Telangana Joint Action Committee. Comprising political and non-political groups was formed to lead the demand for the separate Telangana with the Usman University professor. M. Kodanram as its convener. On the leadership of uh, Usman University Professor M. Kodanram, sir, so uh, this uh, a joint action committee was formed okay, with political group and non political group. So, with political and non political group, uh, this one is formed. On 3rd February, the government appointed a five member committee headed by Justice Sri Krishna to look into the issue. Okay, this 
on 23rd December when uh, uh, Home Affairs Minister announced that no action will be taken in favor of Telangana, then the Samaikandra movement was come down. Again, the MLAs and the ministers from the Telangana region, they resigned their post. Then a joint action committee uh, under the leadership of uh, Usman University Professor M. Kodanram sir as a convener. So, a joint action committee was established. This is a very, very important. Okay. So, then they started their activities also. By observing all these things, on 3rd February, the government appointed a five member committee headed by Justice Sri Krishna to look into this issue. This is a very, very important uh, uh, phenomenon. The first phenomenon is on 9th February, on 9th December, the road map is going to be started for the formation of Telangana. This is the first step. And the second important event for in the, uh, in the formation of Telangana is on 3rd February, the government appointed a five member committee headed by Justice Sri Krishna. Now, we will discuss about uh, what are the uh, different uh, uh, proposals uh, given by the Sri Krishna committee and what are its uh, impact. We will discuss it now, Sri Krishna committee. The Sri Krishna committee headed by the former Chief Justice B. N. Sri Krishna toured all the regions of the state extensively and invited all the people from all sections of the society to give their opinion on the state food. They received over 1 lakh petitions and representations from the political parties, organizations, NGOs and individuals. The Sri Krishna committee headed by the uh, former uh, Chief Justice uh, B. N. Uh, Sri Krishna, they toured all the places of uh, Andhra Pradesh and they uh, generally of course, they meet with uh, all the different uh, people, different groups, different political parties, uh, uh, NGOs and they take the opinion of the people here. Then of course, uh, and they received nearly 1 lakh petitions and representation from all the people. Then you can see uh, the what you call it the heat of uh, this movement also, correct. Okay. Now, uh, when it is also held constitution consultations with the political parties and general public while also factoring in the impact of recent developments on different sections of people such as women, children, students, minorities, other backward classes, scheduled caste, scheduled tribes also. So, they met all kinds of people here means uh, uh, including each other, they, they met the women, children, students, minorities also. They take the opinion of all the uh, areas, all the people, all kinds of uh, groups also and they they have uh, recorded all these consultations with even the political parties also. On 16th December 2010, two weeks before the deadline for the submission of the Sri Krishna report, actually uh, they have given a, a deadline for the submission of the Sri Krishna report just two weeks before that is on 16th December 2010, TRS organized a public meeting in Warangal. It was estimated that over uh, 2.6 million people attend this meeting. That is the uh, expectations, nearly 2.6 million people will attend for this uh, public meeting which is organized by the TRS at Warangal. But it was reported that even more would have attended uh, their standard uh, due to traffic jams along roads leading to the city. So, the expectations is 2.6 million people will attend that, but uh, more than that people's even the roads was blocked and the traffic was completely jammed and, uh, and the even uh, most of the people are able to attend that program also means is uh, that uh, uh, okay, meeting was fully crowdy with these people here. The TRS president, Telangana Rashtra Samiti president K. Chandra Sekhar Rao appeal to the Prime Minister of India Manmohan Singh to note that the people of Telangana were uh, losing the patience. He demanded that the centre introduce the bill, the bill on Telangana in the next session of the parliament. 
So, at the time that the TRS President KCR announced and appealed to the Prime Minister, this is a one of the example and the showpiece for the Telangana agitation movement. See how many people are attended for this program. So, he appealed to the Prime Minister and submit the bill, separate Telangana bill in the next session of the uh, parliament. The days before just the Sri Krishna committee submitted report to the central government, uh, the KCR declared that. So, when the Sri Krishna committee is going to submit it, at the time this is one more important phenomena happens uh, in the movement, the Telangana movement. KCR declared that his party was ready to wash the Sonia Gandhi's feet if she agrees to the Telangana demand. So, at the time he was announced officially. So, his party was ready to wash Sonia Gandhi's feet if she agrees to the Telangana demand. He, is, he said his party is associated with the movement and was willing to dissolve the party if the state was formed. So, he announced that if the government is uh, willing to uh, uh, give the uh, separate state for Telangana, so then he is going to dissolve his party. So, he was announced this is a one more important phenomena happens in the Telangana movement here. Okay. Uh, the Indian Home Minister released 505 page Sri Krishna committee report on 6th January 2011. This is a one more important phenomena you have to rem uh, remember it and it is a very important. So, the Sri Krishna committee report is uh, consisting of 505 pages and he submitted uh, of course, to the uh, central government and the Indian Home Ministry uh, released that 505 pages Sri Krishna committee report on 6th January 2011. The committee opined that most regions of Telangana excluding of Hyderabad were either on par on a shade lower than the coastal Andhra. So, when you compare with the uh, Andhra, coastal Andhra, this Telangana is uh, as on par or a shade lower. So, that is the actual thing here. Uh, Nilu, Nidulu, the actually they fought for these two, especially uh, Nilu, Nilu, Nidulu, Niyamakalu. These three are very important. Their main slogan it is Nilu, Nidulu, Niyamakalu. So, this is water, okay, resources, and employment. So, actually they are struggling, they are struggling for this. The Telangana movement uh, was accelerated and formed because of there is a disparities about these three when you compare with the uh, coastal Andhra and Rayal Sima with the Telangana. Okay. So, even the Sri Krishna committee also identified this one and they submitted the same thing to the government also. When Hyderabad is included, Telangana is far better. The most backward of all region was in fact even Rayal Sima also. The committee however, agreed with the violations of GO 16. So, that is what he said. So, when you excluded Hyderabad from the Telangana, so Telangana is so, so much backward compared with the Rayal Sima and coastal. But when you include Hyderabad with Telangana, then it is a, a little bit of far better with the comparison of these two. And they have so some so many violations in the implementation of GIVO 16 also this uh, committee is uh, completely agreed with the these violations of implementation of GIVO 16. These are the major uh, things you have to understand the, maybe questions may come in these particular issues. Most violations however, have been in the education and health sector due to uh, death of qualified locals. It also noted that the funds released for education institutions in Telangana were lower than in the other two regions of the state. So, there are two major areas as you know that the one is uh, education and second one is the uh, health. But the uh, amount was allocated for these two uh, areas or when you compare with the, uh, uh, the other two regions means uh, coastal Andhra and Rayal Sima is a very little bit of lower than the Telangana, they identified it, those things. The committee did not see the Telangana movement as a threat to national integrity. So, as uh, uh, in uh, uh, 1970s, or oh sorry, 1990s, 
what they uh, said. So, Elka Advani announced that at the time the Home Minister announced that so the smaller states, the formation of smaller states will uh, give a threat to the national integrity, but uh, the committee said, the Sri Krishna committee said it's, it did not see the Telangana movement as a threat to national integrity. So, the, the Telangana government uh, is not a threat, but at the time he said, LK Advani said it is a threat to the national integrity, but uh, after uh, different uh, negotiations, discussion with the, all the people of uh, Telangana, they realized that the Telangana movement is not a threat to national integrity, not, noting the emotions in the general public about the issue a perceived neglect in the implementation of assurance given to the region. So, actual thing here they uh, gave a uh, promise for the implementation of those uh, different uh, plans, but there is a uh, there is a negligency for the implementation of these things that is the reason the unrest was formed in the Telangana region people. It also said that the continuing demand therefore, for a separate Telangana, the committee felt has some merit and is not entirely unjustified. So, formation of Telangana is not completely or entirely unjustified, means here there is a some justification for the formation of Telangana, like these are the different uh, uh, points, important points or uh, submissions from Telangana means uh, Sri Krishna committee in favor of Telangana state, formation of Telangana state. The conclusion of the report included the following statements. I am just therefore, after taking into account all the proceedings uh, pros and cons, the committee did not think it to be the most preferred, but the second best option separation is recommended by recommended only in case it is unavoidable and if this decision can be reached amicably amongst all the three regions. This is the final statement. So, once again, so I am giving the uh, reading the final statement here. Uh, the option is separation is recommended only in case it is unavoidable and if this decision can be reached amicably among all the three regions. This is the uh, second option was given by the Sri Krishna uh, committee. Okay. Then what is the solution proposed? So, we are going to discuss about uh, the what is the solution proposed by the Sri Krishna committee here. The report discuss six solutions to the problem. The preferred option being keeping the state united by simultaneously providing certain definite constitutional and statutory measures for socio-economic development and political empowerment of Telangana region through the creation of statutory empowered Telangana regional council. So, th this is a one option, they have given six solutions. Among six solutions, for one first solution is, so if they want to uh, continue the total Andhra Pradesh undivided as united, then they have to uh, provide different constitutional and statutory measures for socio-economic development and political empowerment of Telangana region through the uh, creation of statutory empowered Telangana regional council. So, if they want to maintain uh, as undivided Andhra Pradesh, so they have to uh, start a, a, a a council that is called Telangana Regional Council. Council. This, uh, this is the first advice. And the second best option from the Sri Krishna committee is bifurcation of the state into Telangana and Simandra as per existing boundaries with Hyderabad as the capital of Telangana and Simandra to have new capital. With Hyderabad as the capital of Telangana and Simandra to have a new capital. This is the second option was given by the. So, first option is if they do not want to bifurcate the Andhra, then they want to make it as a united, they want to continue my united. So, Telangana Regional Council has to be uh, started 
Okay. And so, we have empower the political, economic and social uh, things in the particular region. And the second best option given by the Sri Krishna committee is if, okay, they, if they want to bifurcate, bifurcate the state into Telangana and Simandra as two parts. As per, so they have to divide as per existing boundaries. So, already we have Simandra boundary is there, Telangana boundary is there. As per existing boundary, they have to divide it. There is no change it. And Hyderabad as the capital of Telangana and Simandra has to have a new capital like what we are uh, presently we are having the same. So, this is the second option uh, given by the Sri Krishna committee. Okay. What is the reaction to the report? So, out of two options, I am not uh, discussing out of two, uh, I am not discussing uh, all these things. So, just among the uh, six uh, points, two are who are the best option I discuss. The first option already is said. So, they want to make it uh, united, then a Telangana uh, Regional Council has to be uh, started and they, they have to empower politically, financially, economically uh, the total region. That is the first. Otherwise, if they want to bifurcate, so, we have to bifurcate in two as uh, Simandra as one region and Telangana is another region. So, Hyderabad is the capital for Telangana as Simandra has the new capital. Okay. Uh, what is the reaction to the report? The eighth chapter, this is a very, very important here. The eighth chapter of the report was not made public for uh, in undisclosed reasons. Okay. So, they do not want to say what is the reason. So, the eighth chapter was not uh, shown to the public here. After judgment rele released by or delivered by the Justice L. Narasimha Reddy of Andhra Pradesh High Court, uh, the content of the secret chapter was submitted to the High Court. Actually, uh, the eighth chapter was not given, 505 pages of Sri Krishna Committee report, the eighth chapter was kept hided. So, it is not shown to the public here. So, at the time, the Chief Justice of uh, uh, High Court, L. Narasimha Reddy, sir, so they have, they have, he ordered that the secret chapter was submitted to the High Court. The Chief Justice in his 60 pages judgment said that the committee travelled beyond the terms of the reference in its endeavour to the pursuit the Union of India, not exit to the demand for Telangana. This is a one more important uh, the phenomena happens. These are the reaction of one of the reaction to the report. So, we will discuss uh, what are the different reactions on the report, what is the final thing. So, in so whether we have achieved our goal or not uh, and what happens, how we celebrated the formation of Telangana, all these things we are going to discuss in the next episode.